The Mandalorians were a clan-based cultural group that was composed of members from multiple species all bound by a common creed, language and code, and played a particularly important role in galactic history as legendary warriors with a fearsome reputation as conquerors as well as mercenaries and bounty hunters. Originating around the year 9991 BBY, on the planet of Mandalore in the galaxy's Outer Rim territories, the Mandalorian's way of life revolved around honor and war, being led by a sole ruler known as the Mandalore, whose protectors established a balance of control in the Mandalorian's warrior clan society. As a result of their warrior culture, the Mandalorians launched several wars of expansion by the time of the Old Republic era, colonizing nearby worlds such as Cronest, Ordo, and Concord Dawn, Susess fully establishing their own sector, known as Mandalorian Space. Throughout their history, several types of Mandalorian warriors came into existence, such as Mandalorian Crusaders, Rallymasters, and Mandalorian Neo-Crusaders, all of who waged war on the Galactic Republic and the Jedi Order, conflicts that according to legends, involved a Mandalore who went by the name of Mandalore the Great. In spite of this, relations between the Mandalorians and the Jedi were not always hostile, as Tar Vishla, a human Mandalorian, was inducted into the Jedi Order as a child, creating a lightsaber known as the Darksaber around the year 1050 BBY. Tar eventually founded House Vishla, claiming the position of Mandalore, with the Darksaber becoming a symbol of leadership for House Vishla as well as the entire Mandalorian people. However, after Vishla's death, members of his house raided the Jedi Temple during the fall of the Old Republic, stealing the Darksaber and using it to reunify the Mandalorian people, waging war once more on the Jedi Order. Unfortunately, the final conflict between the Mandalorian warlords and the Jedi at the planet Mandalore led to a cataclysm that turned much of its surface into a lifeless white desert, rendering it uninhabitable outside of hermetically sealed dome cities. After their defeat, the Mandalorians remained isolated in their sector well into the High Republic era, not attempting to wage another war on either the Jedi nor the Republic, with which they coexisted through treaties. However, the Mandalorians' warrior ways and desire for conquest remained alive, eventually leading to infighting and civil wars. However, although Mandalore was still under control of traditional Mandalorian warriors, much of the planet's population had become part of a pacifist movement known as the New Mandalorians, led by the young Duchess Satine Cries of House Cries, with the traditionalist warriors being forced to use violence to hold on to power. Eventually, around the year 42 BBY, a civil war broke out between the pacifist New Mandalorian movement and the martial traditionalists, who wished to maintain their warrior heritage. Mandalore's capital of Keldabe was destroyed during the Mandalorian Civil War, and many perished during the conflict, including Duke Adonai Kreis, Satine's father. Satine herself had to remain under protection from the Jedi Order, as the traditionalists sent bounty hunters after her. However, Mandalore's traditionalist minority was eventually defeated during the war, being exiled to Mandalore's moon of Concordia. While the Death Watch, a traditionalist group under Mandalore pre Vishla, wished to retake their homeworld, the old Mandalorians scattered across the galaxy as mercenaries. During the Clone Wars, members of the warrior culture would align themselves with both sides of the conflict, which was secretly orchestrated by the Sith Order, who hired the Mandalorian bounty hunter Jango Fett to become the clone template for the Grand Army of the Republic, with Fett's clones being trained by the Mandalorian protectors while the Death Watch briefly joined the Confederacy of Independent Systems, in hopes of reclaiming Mandalore. Under the new Mandalorian government, Mandalore remained neutral and participated in the Council of Neutral Systems as a leading member. However thanks to being backed up by the criminal conglomerate known as the Shadow Collective, Death Watch was able to topple the ruling new Mandalorian regime, but the machinations of Maul, leader of the Collective, led to another civil war among the Death Watch which split into the collective-backed Mandalorian Supercommandos, and the Mandalore Resistance, which was supported by the Republic. However, the conflict culminated in the occupation of Mandalore by the Galactic Republic and its subsequent government, the Galactic Empire, while Concord Dawn, the Protector's headquarters, was transformed into a protectorate. Following the rise of the Empire, Bo-Katan Cries was made Regent of Mandalore, 
but she refused to follow Emperor Sheev Palpatine. As a result, she was replaced with Gar Saxon, a former Mandalorian supercommando, who was installed as Viceroy over Mandalore, his rule enforced by the Imperial Supercommandos. As with many worlds in the galaxy, Mandalore was oppressed under Imperial rule, with weapons such as the Arc Pulse Generator being developed to pacify and reign in the warlike civilization, while the Mandalorian protectors under Fen Rao were forced to sev the Empire on Concord Dawn. However, during the Galactic Civil War, the Empire's rule on Mandalore was opposed by the Mandalorian Resistance, which was supported by the Alliance to Restore the Republic, and was also joined by Fen Rao after the Protector's destruction. After the deaths of Gar Saxon and his brother and successor, Governor Tiber Saxon, Bo Katan Cries, after receiving the Darksaber from Sabine Wren of Clan Wren, assumed the position of Mandalore. Cries united the Mandalorian resistance as another civil war erupted on Mandalore, a part of the galaxy wide struggle against Imperial rule. Cries's reign as Mandalore was short lived, however, and the Empire started the Great Purge of Mandalore, killing millions of Mandalorians during the Night of a Thousand Tears, while Cries lost the Darksaber to Moff Gideon. After the fall of the Empire and the rise of the New Republic, and following the Empire's Great Purge of Mandalore, the surviving Mandalorians went into hiding. One such group, the tribe, hid in a covet on Navarro. The tribe, which was secretly part of the Children of the Watch, followed the way of the Mandalore, an ancient religion that had fallen out of mainstream Mandalorian society. However, the tribe was forced to relocate after its members revealed themselves to protect one of their own, the bounty hunter Din Djarin, from an imperial remnant, which afterwards wiped out most of the tribe's members. Jaren, who had been tasked with returning the Force-sensitive foundling Grogu to the Jedi Order, was aided in his task by several notable individuals, including Bo-Katan Kryz, Mandalore's former ruler, and Boba Fett, the son of Mandalorian bounty hunter Jango Fett. After the hunt for Grogu was over, Jaren attempted to return to the tribe, which had relocated to the Glavis Ringworld, only to be expelled by its members when they discovered that he had removed his helmet, which went against the way of the Mandalore. Jaren and Fett joined forces once more, leading Fett's Gotra in its war against the Pike Syndicate, during which he was reunited with Grogu, who had decided to rejoin him. Fett and Jaren eventually defeated the Pikes, allowing Fett to establish himself as Tatooine's reigning crime lord, while Jaren and Grogu left the planet.